Wow, look at that one. I can't even feel my face. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. I'm out here in hot, warm, beautiful British Columbia during the winter time, and we're gonna go underwater and look for some gold. So if you like gold and you like watching people suffer, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Big shout out to this Pioneer Mobile for helping me find the gold. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's snowing. I want my mom. Since the water level is high during the winter season, I started this gold hunt working in what's called the line of gold which at this location is typically out of the water. It was a good decision because our first piece of gold is a nice little nugget. And dealing with the pile of gravel and dirt overburden is way easier to deal with when you're underwater, which is a big reason I prefer sniping over panning. So I noticed over 70% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Poly. If you wanna see more of these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. So we're gonna head upstream to a spot where I've done well in the past, but I haven't been here in over a year. So hopefully there'll be more gold today. There's a ton of overburden in this location, which is another reason why I generally avoid it. My vest back on because I just want people to be able to see me. I just spent 20 minutes moving boulders to access the bedrock and I found a really nice clay layer. This is typically where you're gonna find the best gold. The reason why a clay layer is important to us miners is that it's another indication that there hasn't been movement in that spot for a long time. Also meaning nobody else has been there and suggests gold would have had more time to accumulate there. Another reason, once gold sticks to the clay, it won't be moving naturally anymore. I found something shiny right there. It looks like a nice little nugget. Yeah, cute little guy. Cool. Our friend Gareth, or Moto Mining on YouTube, stopped by to join me in this hunt to see if he could find the nuggets before I did. So if you want to see what he found, stay tuned for his video on his channel. Hi. <laughs> in an aggressive attempt to distract him, I threw a leaf in his direction. I floated around a bit, kind of checking random spots, and I saw a little piece of gold in a crack, and then realized it was actually a bigger piece than I thought. <laughs> this piece was so wedged in there, I had to break the bedrock around it in order to get it out. Wow, look at that one. That is full of character. Okay, I can't drop this one. Bloop. After not finding much else in that area, I kind of moved across the river to another spot that looked good, and it was good. The bedrock was really fractured over here, which really just means that gold has more places to fall into. Typically when you break up this bedrock, you'll find a bunch of gold at the very bottom. I did find a couple little specks at this spot, but nothing really worth filming. Alright, just having a quick break. I can't feel my face. I can barely talk. <laughs> it's very cold out today, obviously, but we are finding gold and that's what counts. We have a couple hours left before it's going to get really cold, so let's get back to it. As Gareth and I were starting to freeze, we floated our way downstream back to the start. It's a little cold. 
<laughs> okay, so I'm calling it a day. It's uh, cold. <laughs> we found a lot of gold, so that's what counts. That's what makes you a little bit warmer, honestly. Anyways, let's go back to the house and I'll show you what we found. So while I was editing, I realized I'm missing a shot where I found this little crevice packed with fine gold. This could be because I didn't actually turn the camera on or the GoPro quit from the low temperatures, but either way, I'm really disappointed I can't share that and that contributes to this shorter video. Ta-da! I'm actually pretty depressed over that. <laughs> Just kidding. This is good. This is a lot of gold. We have a few nice pieces of gold in here. Uh, there's a piece right here that has mercury on it, so I'll, I'll eat that later. Of course, our biggest piece of the day, a nice brain looking nugget including a few other nice little pieces. Uh, my favorite out of these are uh, this little roly-poly piece. I like the round ones. So yeah, let's weigh it. Okay, so for our first piece, I'm gonna guess, 1.11,000. Mm, 0.14 grams. Cool. Our second piece, that looks like a 0 0.3. 0 0.41, ah, almost an ounce. This guy looks like a fish. Point one. Point two two. Oh, I'm always wrong. Our loaf of bread piece. Loaf of bread piece, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go up. Point four. Point three two. Eh. And last but not least, our big nugget. What do you think this weighs? I'm gonna say, that's definitely over a gram. I'm gonna say mm, two grams. Two grams. Just kidding. 10 ounces. <laughs> Wow, 2.06 grams. Beautiful! Now all together. One, two, three, four, five, 3.14. Now our little bits. Come on, baby. Four pounds. Four point eight one grams. And of course, without further ado, we must weigh the banana. <gasps> I caramba! So there you have it, almost five grams of gold in about 12 seconds isn't bad at all. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. I'm also on almost every other social media platform available. So if you want to see anything else extra, there's that. And also I have a Patreon account if you want to see anything else exclusive. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until the next one, some videos that I highly recommend.